In this tutorial, I will be talking about the uh, provisioning of EC2 instance using the GitHub Actions and Terraform. And basically, those will be the series of uh, tutorials about GitHub Actions. But in, in this tutorial specifically, I will uh, mainly focus on uh, provisioning of EC2. Mm, and this tutorial consists uh, with multiple steps. The first step will be to generate AWS credentials. The second one will be to add those credentials as uh, secrets to GitHub Actions. Then we will create, uh, and I will do also the overview of Terraform script which will provision the EC2 then the workflow on the github actions will be created which will be based on the workflow dispatch event and the last step the demo itself meaning i will show all the process from the beginning till the end meaning when you click on the button the provisioning happening and in the end eventually we will uh, connect to, SS to, to EC2 using the SSH Okay, so let's start by logging in to your AWS account. Of course, you need to have one because all this tutorial about provisioning of EC2 to AWS cloud. So it's better you have <laughs> before you start. So let's log in and we need to create a user for provisioning with Terraform let's create the new user which is called TF user we need to give it uh, permissions to create EC2 I will give it an EC2 full access to, simpli to simplify all this demo of course, you don't want to give EC2 full access for your production use case. Okay, so let's create the user. Great, the user is created. The next step will be to generate security credentials for this user. So let's generate security credentials. Okay, so it's better to store this is CSV file with all credentials, access key and the secret key. You will use it in a minute in uh, GitHub Actions as a secret so I'll copy this one and I will copy this one yep need to download first of course done okay great so now we have uh, access key and the secret key the next step will be to add credentials uh, to GitHub as a secret. And for this, what you need is to go to your repo. In my case, it's a GitHub Action Series. Click on uh, Settings, Secrets and Variables, Actions. And let's actually add the secrets we need. So first secret we will add will be access key we stored previously. The second one will be the secret. Let's add variable for this also it's a repository secret great 
Okay, so now we have needed secrets. Mm, and next step actually will be uh, to overview the Terraform script to provision EC2 instance. So let's do it. By the way, all the all the scripts, all the files you can find in my repo, which is called GitHub Actions uh, Series repo. It's a public repo, so you uh, you can go there and see all those files. But of course, I will attach those under the description of this video, so it should should be a problem. So let's review the script itself, the Terraform script, I mean, which provision the EC2 instance. So this is the script. We have resource called AWS instance, which basically provisions an EC2 instance called App Server. The AMI we're using, it's a Ubuntu based AMI. We're using the, the filters to get latest uh, Ubuntu image. Uh, of the version 20.04 and G64. The instance type will be t3.micro and the key name app SSH key. The, okay, after, after this one, we will uh, create the SSH key also because we will need it after the, the demo part. Uh, actually to connect with, with the C2 instance we, which provisioned the tags using the EC2 name variable which basically the variable to which we will give to the EC2 which provisioned I will show you in a couple of minutes uh, how we inject this variable through the workflow itself So yeah, let's now generate the, the key itself. SSH came in. Okay, so let's create the keeper. The name of keeper is SSH key. Okay, so now we have the SSH key, please store it uh, somewhere, we will need it uh, in the demo step after EC2 instance will be provisioned to connect with the instance using this key. Okay, now let's uh, create the workflow itself, GitHub Actions workflow, uh, which provisions EC2 instance. Uh, I actually already created the, the workflow, the YAML file, so what I will do, I will do the overview of, the, of this workflow um, and we will start the name of the workflow is provision t3 micro ec2 um, it will be triggered on an event called workflow dispatch uh, workflow dispatch event it's uh, an event yeah. let's go to the docs of the github actions workflow dispatch event basically the workflow which trigger uh, which you can trigger manually meaning uh, you will actually have the button you can click this button and uh, the moment you will click the workflow will uh, start provisioning EC2 instance and that's exactly what I need I don't want to, to trigger uh, the workflow by pushing some commit or some events related to PRs I need to, to provision it manually I mean trigger manually so this is exactly my use case the workflow of this page when using the inputs 
um, for inputs we have a name of the EC2 which will be injected uh, to Terraform script. For this we define this variable in Terraform script and basically this part tags will give a specific name to the EC2 instance we defined. The job itself called provision EC2 mm, run, it runs on Ubuntu latest image. This is one of the standard GitHub Actions uh, images, one of three if I'm not mistaken. Yep, one of the three images, the steps, the first step will be in the workflow to check out meaning to, um, to get the files of the repo, setup node, it's uh, actually setup in the node. And why we need to set up the node? Because of some errors I had during the installation of Terraform, which is uh, related to, to node somehow. I can uh, reference you to this, to this bug. Maybe it's uh, already fixed, but uh, the time I, I created this workflow, it's not built without the setup in node first. So this is basically the only reason why I'm using it. Then we will configure AWS credentials using a GitHub Actions called configure AWS credentials. And you can find it on the, on the market. Basically, actions which simplifies all the process of uh, configurations of AWS credentials. And the secret and the access key are we are stored in as a secret. So those those are will be used secrets dot user AWS key exactly the key we store before previously. Uh, set up Terraform also in github action of uh, HashiCorp which, uh, which set up the Terraform and Terraform apply in the end will basically um, provision provisioning of the EC2 itself Terraform by Terraform and init validate plan and uh, you and eventually apply auto approve and another interesting thing is this variable, which will be injected to environment as TF var EC2 name, and we got the EC2 name from uh, from the input we defined previously. This one, var, and uh, the variable starts from from TF underscore var. And why is that? Because every variable which starts with tfvar will be injected to Terraform. Okay, so the last part will be the demo part. And in this part, I will uh, provision EC2 with the workflow we created. But before that, let's check. Yeah, we don't have any actions currently in this repo so the first thing we need we need to actually add the workflow to the repo itself and in order to do that we need to to add the, this yaml file the yaml file of the workflow under the dot github uh, slash workflows folder so let's let's do it I will commit this change. To the repo itself. Let's check. 
yep we see now we have this folder with the needed workflow now let's go to the actions and yep we can see now the action actually added provision t3 micro ec2 nice so let's run the workflow like i said it's a manually triggered you can see this button you can click you can select the branch and the ec2 name ec2 name that's exactly this input and it goes eventually in the terraform script to this part let's call it uh, test ec2 provision okay let's look now at the execution of this workflow let's go into the logs to see if everything good I can see the checkout, setup node is great, configure the glass credentials, setup Terraform, great, and Terraform initialized. And now this is basically the plan, Terraform plan command. Looking good, we want to add. Okay, so provisioning, I see, is happening, right? Creating. Why is that? No, it's... Uh, provisioning is happening. Let's take a look at the console. Oh, this is our new EC2 instance. Which provisioning? We are provisioning now. Status check initializing. Great. Okay, so the provisioning is finished. You can see the green one checkbox. Nice. Okay. Initializing. Great. So I see the machine is up. So the last thing is remaining is to connect to EC2 using the SSH key we created. If you don't remember the SSH key you can find in key pairs. So let's copy the key to SSH folder. give it needed permissions and the last one let's connect let's actually connect with uh, our new machine the user will be Ubuntu and the IP the public IP is is that one still initializing Ah, but we actually forgot something is to we need to edit the inbound connections security inbound connections to make it possible to connect uh, using SSH so let's go to, to the security group edit inbound rules SSH connection let's use my IP Save rules. Okay, let's check it now. Great, so we're able to connect.